Thomas Reiter is one of Germany's most loved astronauts, the first to go on a spacewalk. He spent a year conducting research in space and is now a leading advisor at the European Space Agency and joins us here on Made in Germany. What's it like up there? It's fantastic. The view of our own planet and in the opposite direction to the depth of space is just fascinating. I'm, I'm a very jealous man, but tell me what has and have all those experiences that you've made up there, what has all that actually brought us, besides the odd gadget or two? Okay, there are, of course, a lot of um, advances in science uh, in the area of medicine, a better understanding of um, how bones behave. Um, uh, osteoporosis is one of the most distributed diseases, so uh, contributions there disease of the immune system, um, new ways to discover uh, starting heart diseases, uh, new materials we developed uh, based on the research up there, new kind of material which can be used for turbine blades, reducing significantly the weight of jet engines and thus reducing the fuel consumptions. And I can go on for a long time. <laughs> so, a so a lot of benefits, but, but are we talking about turning profits? When we come to the pure business aspect of space exploration, exploration. It's an extremely expensive journey. Well, I would not agree that it's extremely expensive. Europe spends about um, three and a half billion um, euros per year, the European Space Agency, plus the um, income from the European Union is about 5.2 billion euros. If you compare it to the annual budget for space in the United States, which is around 18, 19 billion mm -hmm. dollars, I think it's okay and yes, it's worth the effort in terms of the knowledge we gain and the fascination that is also um, uh, caused by a young generation. What are Europe's chances though of increasing that budget to what a proposed 11 billion? It's a little bit less for the next three years, yes, about um, seven and a half, eight billion mm -hmm. for the running programs and for starting new programs. Space has become part of our day-to-day -day life much more than many people might be aware of. So I think it's an excellent investment. And you've compared Europe to the US there. What do you think of the most famous space entrepreneur right now, Elon Musk, and his ambitions to colonize Mars? First of all, I think uh, Elon Musk did a remarkable job in designing this new launcher, not only talking about it, but he did it. He uh, said he will recover the uh, first stages and he did it. Now, on his vision to Mars, I think it's very interesting to bring humans to our neighboring planet mid of the next decade. I have to admit, I'm a little bit um, curious if this is feasible. <laughs> Thomas Reiter, pleasure to have an astronaut on the show. Thank you very much.